The Trump administration is giving new life to the Hillary Clinton email probe. According to the Washington Post, the State Department is investigating as many as 130 of her former aides who sent messages to her private email while Clinton was U.S. Secretary of State. Karen Demersian is a congressional reporter and broke this story for the Washington Post. Um, good to see you. So three years ago, the FBI concluded there was nothing to see here with Clinton's emails. Um, yet here we are with your reporting that these emails um, will be collected as part of this probe. So is this out of the norm or is this customary? Well, it really depends on who you ask, right? Um, State Department officials are saying, look, this is a continuation of an internal review that was going on for a while. It is standard procedure. There's nothing to see here, and we're doing this on the up and up. But in this environment in which you've got a president who is uniquely focused on uh, still hashing out this issue of the Hillary Clinton, his 2016 rival, and her emails, and in an environment in which this is still a political football that's kicked around, a lot of people have suspicions that this is actually being done for political purposes to keep the scrutiny on Clinton's emails and those individuals who were on the other side of the communications with her through her private emails through that private server. And the concerns are fueled uh, furthermore by the fact that it appears that there have been reclassifications or upclassifications of the materials that were looked over before, considered to be not t terribly concerning, that have been uh, brought back into the center of things where these um, diplomats have been reached out to, brought back in to account for these, uh, th these, these materials that have been considered to have contained classified information, whereas they may not have been the focus of such scrutiny before. So and who makes that determination? Who makes that determination of reclassification? Well, that's a, that's a, another question, right? Is that mm -hmm. it, it's makes, made some place internally to the State Department, presumably, but is this done at the order of people who are more political appointees or the people who are tasked to do this as career officials who are looking over this thing and have legitimate reason to believe that there is a need to call something classified that wasn't necessarily called classified before. And defining that and figuring out who made that decision and who made the call for mm -hmm. doing that is kind of at the center of answering your question. Because if, you're, if you are looking at these materials and saying people missed something before incorrectly, mm -hmm. okay, that's a legitimate argument. But if it appears to be an across the board finding a reason to find fault, mm -hmm because you're trying to please the political higher-ups, right. that's not so much on the up and up. So in your reporting, and I'm just reading the quote now that's in the article, which says, uh, quoting, this has nothing to do with who is in the White House, said a senior State Department official who spoke on the condition of anonymity uh, because they were not authorized to speak publicly about this ongoing probe. And then the next quote is, this is about the time it took to go through millions of emails, which is about three and a half years. So right. is that point of view being challenged at all within the U.S. State Department? Um, it appears that there are people that do not buy that point of view, um, that, uh, that and, and do not believe that it's simply a matter of time that there has been this renewed scrutiny in recent weeks and months mm -hmm. to these issues, to these cases, and to these emails that seem to have already been cleared as part of that process. And I think that that is a major piece of why a lot of people's feelers are going up on this one mm -hmm. internally and externally. If you're just doing a routine examination, you would think you go through certain parts of your examination, that's done, you move through everything else. But it seems like there's been a revival of many things mm -hmm. in, in recent weeks. And that what is is a big part of what has people concerned that there's additional pressure being put on, not necessarily apolitically uh, speaking, and that that is uh, the questions are being raised about why this mm -hmm. is happening now and why this is happening to this particular body of investigative mm -hmm. materials at a point in time where really a lot of time and a lot of investigation has already been done. All right. Well, it's a fascinating article. Um, I encourage everyone to read uh, this in the Washington Post. Uh, good job, Karen Demersian. Thank you so much. Thanks for Thank being you. with us.